Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology channel and today of course is Patch Tuesday. I've issued a little video warning that uh, everybody should go and check out Windows updates. Um, once again they install automatically if you don't but you know if you want to apply them immediately you can go and check that out. So the update itself on Windows 10 my machine is a it's not a super powerful machine but it's a Core i5 machine from a couple of years ago and it took a roughly 20, 20 minutes to install the updates I would say on this machine 20-25 minutes it could be much longer on old systems that have older hard drives so be patient um, you know I often say it because people have this tendency to look at the update going and wondering if it continues and then they panic just go away, move away, go do something else. You'll come back later and it'll be done. The uh, updates fix 71 security flaws. Now, this is not just in Windows. 71 is a total, includes um, updates for Microsoft Office, for example. So uh, there are less than 71 flaws in Windows, but there's a lot of flaws in Windows still, including three zero days. Now, the good news, none is actually being exploded by hackers, but now with the updates known, of course, there's going to be a lot of, uh, a lot of, uh, of, of hackers that are going to try to, you know, get into these flaws and try to exploit them now. If we take the different um, vulnerabilities, 25 are elevation of privilege, 3 security feature bypass, 29 are remote code executions, there's 6 information disclosure, 4 denial of service attacks, 3 spoofing vulnerabilities, and if you look at um, Edge, there were 21 Edge Chromium vulnerabilities. So uh, this is uh, pretty uh, amazing. The three zero days have to do with .NET and Visual Studio, uh, remote code execution, Windows fax and scan service elevation of privilege, and remote desktop client remote code execution vulnerability. So of course that means that you have to apply these updates. It's very, very important to do so uh, because you never know what can happen. And of course there are some critical flaws that are to be fixed as fast as possible, including some for the um, VP9 video extension, remote code execution, HEVC video extension, remote code execution is critical. So there's quite a few little things here that are worth fixing to make sure that all is all right in Windows 10. So um, if you want to check out if you have already the install of the updates, you can go, of course, to your settings. Uh, going into settings, you can check for updates. You should see an update appear. If it doesn't appear, maybe it's already installed. So you can, of course, go into Windows Updates and make sure that you check if it's uh, um, in the update history, if it's there. And you should see a update that appeared today. KB5011487. And uh, if you are on Windows 10, of course, you should be at this point in time when you look at the Windows version command at version either 19042, 19043, or 19044, which correspond to 20H2, 21H1, and 21H2. The ending should be 1586 to make sure that you're all right. So it's important to fix these. Head on to Windows Updates if you haven't already and uh, do have these uh, updates to make sure that uh, you are okay. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching our videos.